Welcome to Beer Stories. Today I'm going to talk about how I uh, add ascorbic acid uh, to my beer or my cider. Um, we do this to protect our hops, our hop flavors, our hop aromas, because um, if they get just a little bit of oxidant, they can oxidize and make the beer more brown and yeah, and all the fresh hop flavors will, will be ruined. Um, and that also is true for, for a cider. Just think of when you cut an apple in half and, uh, and if you just let it lie, um, it will turn brown. And that's exactly what happens. It will oxidize. Um, yeah, so you can you can add ascorbic acid um, to prevent this and keep your hops fresh. You have to add, just follow the directions. Um, on this one it says I have to add 0 0.5 grams per 10 liter of beer or cider. Um, in a corny keg, that's really simple. Mine, mine are, are nine liter, nineteen liters, um, so that's just one gram into the corny keg, and then put beer in it. Simple. But those small amounts, when you have to put them in a uh, in a bottle, it's a uh, it's a bit harder. So I do it together with my uh, when I sugar carbonate my beer, I make a water uh, and sugar mix. Uh, boil it and let it cool and add your ascorbic acid to that and then put it in the beer. So uh, yeah, I'll show you how I do that. The sugar water has to be mixed uh, 1 to 1.5 in that ratio. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 150 grams of sugar. Like that, um, and I'm gonna boil that with 100 milliliters of uh, of water. So just put it in the pot, add the water like that, and then just boil it. My sugar water has now cooled down, so it's time to add the ascorbic acid to the water. Um, of course. My hands are clean. Um, I wiped everything down with uh, with ethanol. Um, my syringe is in uh, star sand. Um, yeah, so everything here is clean. So uh, all I need to do now is add my ascorbic acid. Just follow the directions um, on the label. I know I have to use uh, zero point five grams per ten liters. My uh, sugar water is for twenty five liters. So. I just add up and uh, that means I have to add 1.25 grams of ascorbic acid. Oh, that was a little bit too much. You can't taste this in the beer. So um, it doesn't matter if it's too much, but of course not way too much. But you don't want to add too little. That's very important. So I won't be able to taste that I put too much in it. So now it's just added to the water and uh, stir it around so that it's fully dissolved. Yeah, and then add it to your beer. Just remember to stir it around. Um, if you can see anything in the in the bottom of the, of the pot, otherwise, and just put sugar water in all the bottles, and then you're ready to put beer in your bottles. It's a good idea to make a system so that uh, you know exactly which beer you already put it in. Yeah, so that's how I uh, use ascorbic acid in my beer. Um, if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to write me. Uh, write in the comments, uh, write to me otherwise and then I'll be happy to help. Other than that, then just, uh, yeah, go for it and uh, have a brewing out there.